Put another name out of the bucket. This guy's name is Matthew Maloney. no one to give it to for free. So I decided if I'm going to die alone at the very least, I'm going to watch something else do the same. That's right. I've decided to get a pet. But what kind of pet? Well, I'm not going to get a dog because I don't need another reason to feel guilty about not going on walks. I'm afraid to get a cat because tragically feline addiction runs in my family. No, no, seriously, like every time I visit relatives, fucking cats everywhere. And whenever one dies, three more grow in its place. Fish aren't pets, barely decorations. And I'm actually not allowed to get any type of uh, bird or reptile because I don't now, nor have I ever worn a ponytail. So that just leaves me with one logical option. I've decided to get a scorpion. And uh, I found this out recently. It's actually illegal to order scorpions through the mail. Thanks again, 9-11. So I had to drive 130 miles. And I got... Just keep going. Was that the end of it? Um, you had to drive 130 miles that way. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Um, it's got a scorpion, everybody. <laughs> For those of you that lost place, right? I was hoping to end with the 9-11 uh, the thing. and oh. there, there is more to that joke. It's like a 10-minute piece, but... Oh, okie okay, dokie. Okay. And uh, with that said, Matthew Maloney, everybody. Uh, Matthew, it's a year place. Say, don't worry about the time. Yeah, <laughs> Matthew, uh, so nice to meet you. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Great. Uh, you have a, <laughs> I, you, I mean, I really, really like you. I mean, you are by far the funniest giant seven-year-old I've ever seen. <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, of all the people that should be holding a giant baby rattle, you are the best. <laughs> I really like you. You, you, you. I mean, you have real, you have real jokes. Like I love the thing about the dog. And how long have you been on stand up? Um, still in my first year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You have great stage presence for being only in a year. Did you do something before that you were on stage? Yeah, he grew to be six foot nine, <laughs> two hundred eighty pounds. Yeah, I would say that you're going to be huge. You're way off. But thank you. <laughs> what happens when you weigh 120 pounds like that. <laughs> um, Brian, I, I did a lot of theater in high school um, and, and did, got a lot of comedic roles and stuff like that and, and, and college. And dinner stuff. roles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what did you play? What are some of the parts you played in college? Some of the parts you played? Um, I don't know if you'd recognize. Oh, I, you know what? Fiddler I, breaking through the roof. <laughs> We can't all look like you, man. I know, I love it. Yeah, yeah you, yeah, you can. can. I mean, Lord knows you can handle it. <laughs> oh, you step on my line, but you crush me at the same time? Jesus, don't do both. Uh, Dom, I played um, Benjamin Braddock's dad in The um, the Graduate in high school, and I played uh, Caliban in um, The Tempest. So those are two of the roles I played. You might recognize me from the, my portrayal of the rabbi in Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Maybe this is pretty familiar. May God bless and keep the czar far away from us. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> that was a lot like the Dexter chokeout right there. <laughs> There's one podcast listener in South Korea right now. Like, That's a good one. <laughs> he's right. He's right. They can't both be right. No, I, I think you yeah. are funny, because you saw how, many, how I came to the stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but you bend over and almost kill a couple people <laughs> and show us your ass crack. It was amazing. You did get up. You are the first butt crack I've ever seen yeah, yeah. on the show. <laughs> oh, the horse of truth. You saw that, too? Yeah, you got up out of that chair there. And, uh, you know, sometimes even comedians can get plumbers crack, and it was very impressive. <laughs> Me, Willie, and Dom both noticed it. We couldn't believe it. That's what it takes to really... No, that's my opening. That's the ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's prepared. 
Do you go out on a lot of auditions here now? No, no, I'm not. Um, I'm not doing auditions to be like a Hollywood actor, but um, yeah. Are five foot six girls always trying to choke you? <laughs> no one's trying to choke me. Do you do you know that other girl? You should grab that shit. Right. Yeah, so take, take her back to your crib and. and uh, <laughs> How many, how many times a week you get up at, like a week? Um, I don't get on stage that often, but I go to open mics to try to get up. Um, I do four open mics a week. We have to get you an audition for Orange is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll be there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Matthew, I really, really like your style. Uh, how long have you been doing it again? Less uh, than a year? Yeah, we're we're a year. All in L.A.? Um, Let's see, uh, mo mostly in LA, um, a little bit in the Palm Desert area where I'm from, and um, I, I do a lot of stuff in Pasadena. I guess that's LA, but the Ice House, I do the Ice House a lot. Uh, so you live out in the desert? Yeah. How does that affect you? It, it, it's hotter than most places, but I, I like it. It's fine. It's a weird place, a lot of weirdos, right? <laughs> no, Jesus. not by your standard. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, you just got burnt by your high school social studies teacher. <laughs> Matthew, I love your style. Anything else for many parting words from Matthew Malone? Uh, continue, man. You're funny. Just continue. Uh, All right, thank you very much. Yeah, just get on more, that's all. <laughs> yeah. get, get on five times a week. Yeah. I try. Thank that, you very much. That theater background really shows you're fun to watch. Matthew mm -hmm. Maloney, everybody. <laughs> He's on Twitter, Matthew E. Maloney. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah.